we met, of all places, in front of Gristides, a freakishly cold winter's day. I had on several unflattering layers of wool when he slipped on the ice with his grocery bags full. So I rescued some Fruit Loops he dropped by the curb, and he made some remark that my smile was superb. I thought that was sweet, and I started to go when he said, "Hey, what you doing tomorrow?" Because I'll be here on the corner of Bleecker and Mercer tomorrow at seven. If you want to meet up, I'll be waiting right here. And in case there are two fellas waiting for you, my name's John. He winked, and then he was gone. Needless to say, I went back there to meet him, and mostly to see if he'd show. And there he was out in the cold with his jacket pulled tight. He took me to dinner and kissed me good night. The next week we went to this terrible play, and the week after that drank hot chocolate all day. When suddenly eight or nine months had gone by, and he said, "Hey, what you do in the rest of your life? Because I'll be here, right beside you as long as you want me to be. There's no question." There is nothing I've wanted so much in my life. It might sound immature, but I'm totally sure you're the one. And we had just begun. We got hitched in September, our favorite month, with a rock band that played in this old synagogue. And we got an apartment on West 17th Street and talked about children and getting a dog. Our first anniversary came in a flash. He promised to take the day off. He had to stop into his office that morning, and so I went walking uptown to this bakery I know. When I heard on the street what I thought was a joke, till I noticed the sirens and saw the smoke, and I'm running back home with this feeling of dread to the voicemail he left with the last words he said. I'm sorry. I don't mean to ruin your evening by bringing up all of this stuff. You're probably wondering why I even called you tonight. Well, today something happened that spooked me all right. I noticed John's Fruit Loop still there on the shelf, and I cried and I couldn't get hold of myself. And sure as I breathe. I heard John clear as day, saying, "Hey, you're allowed to move on. It's okay, because I'll be here, even if you decide to get rid of my favorite sweater, even if you go out on my birthday this year instead of sitting at home, letting all of life's moments pass by." You don't have to cry because I'll be here when you start going back to the places we went to together. When you take off my ring and you let yourself smile. When you meet someone handsome and patient and true, and he says that he wants to be married to you. And you call him one night and you meet him downtown and you finally answer him yes. Yes, Jason, I will marry you. I will give you my heart. It has taken so long, but I'm ready to start. Right now, John's whispering congrats in my ear, 'cause I finally let myself tell you.